Hey everyone, welcome back to The Simple Dad. Today I've got seven awesome Samsung Galaxy features that'll take your phone to the next level. So some of these are brand new features from Samsung's latest One UI and AI tools, while others are old hidden gems that still work perfectly in 2025. So before we start, let's set a goal. Let's try to hit 300 likes on this video. It really helps me out since the channel is run entirely by me. Alone, no team, just the simple dad. So if you find these tips helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me which feature you liked the best. Your support honestly keeps this channel going and I truly appreciate it. All right, let's begin. So feature number one is where you can add a calculator on your lock screen. So this one's both clever and convenient. So by using Lockstar module from your Good Lock app, along with a new app called One UI Widget, you can add a calculator right onto your lock screen. That means you can do quick calculation like splitting a bill or checking totals without even unlocking a phone. Let me show you how to do this. So for this, we need the Good Lock app. So go ahead and download this app called Good Lock. Now within the app, you need to go ahead and download the Lockstar module. So go ahead and install this. So the Lockstar module will let you customize your lock screen. Now, once that's installed, you want to go ahead and open up the Play Store. You want to search for the following app called One UI Widget. So this is the app you need. Go ahead and download this. Just a note, this is not a free app. It is a paid app, so it costs between roughly between one to two pounds. Now, once that's done, you want to go ahead and customize your lock screen. So go ahead and open up the wallpaper in style, tap on your lock screen. Now you want to go ahead and find Lockstar and then go ahead and tap on App Widgets. Now you want to go ahead and find the One UI widget. So this is a third party app, One UI widgets, tap on this. And here you need to find the calculator app. So this is the app you need, calculator widget, tap on this, add widget. So now the widget has been added, go ahead and enlarge this. Now press done. And then go ahead and tap on home. Now go ahead and lock your screen, unlock it, and you have your calculator widget. So now you can go ahead and use this calculator while on your lock screen. So this is done all on your lock screen. You can even add this on your always on display. So you can go ahead and repeat the same process and tap on app widgets, find one UI widget, and go ahead and add it to your always on display. So this saves time, looks sleek, and makes your lock screen functional instead of just a decorative one. So it's perfect for students, shoppers, or anyone who loves a smart shortcut on their lock screen. Feature number two is your back tap to open an app. So this feature is a hidden gem. So you can go ahead and use the Registar module from Good Lock app, and you can set up a double tap or a triple tap on the back of your phone to open any apps or action. So you can go ahead and open up camera, maybe a flashlight, or take a screenshot. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down and find Registar. This is the module you need. Now you're gonna go ahead and tap on Back Tap Action. Go ahead and switch this on. And now you're gonna go ahead and find Double Tap or Triple Tap. So you can go ahead and choose whatever you like. Let's go ahead and customize the Double Tap. So here, these are all the actions you can do. So you can take a screenshot, access your Google Voice Assistant, start up a pop-up window, show notifications, back buttons, or you can go ahead and do your own by opening an app. So we'll go ahead and open an app. We'll go ahead and choose an app. So let's just say, for example, the Argos app. Now we'll go ahead and press home. And now when we go ahead and double tap at the back, and there you go. So it's fast, intuitive, and feels like your own secret shortcut. So it's super useful when you want quick access without touching your screen. Feature number three is to show the favorite app bar on your lock screen. So here is a productivity booster. You can now add your favorite apps directly on your lock screen using one UI customization tool like the lock star. So it's like having a mini app dock before you even unlock your device. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, we need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and download the following module called Lockstar. Tap on this. This will take you to your lock screen customization. Tap on Lockstar here at the bottom. And here you need to find the favorite apps. Tap on this. So go ahead and turn on this feature. And as you can see, these are all the apps you can add to your favorite bar. So you've got currently six apps or five apps. 
So go ahead and choose what apps you require. Now you can go ahead and choose your alignment. So if you want it horizontally, vertically, if you go ahead and choose your alignment, you can go ahead and move it anywhere you like. So you can go ahead and put it under your time there, or you can go ahead and put it just next to your fingerprints or wherever you like. So now once you're done, tap done. And now your favorite bar has been applied. So go ahead and lock it, unlock it, and you'll see your icon here. Tap on this, this will expand it. And now you can go ahead and tap on any of them to open up the apps. You will need to enter in your pin number or your fingerprint, and this will open up the app for you. So it saves time, looks clean, and helps you get things done faster. So this is great for multitaskers who use the same app throughout the day. Feature number four is your wallpaper suggestions from Samsung AI. So this is one of Samsung's newer AI powered trick. So the phone now gives you smart wallpaper suggestions based on your preference, color, or even your mood. So it's automatically generating and recommending designs for you. So let me show you how you can do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the wallpaper customization, long press on your home screen, tap on wallpaper and style, and we'll go ahead and change the wallpaper. So let's just say, we'll go ahead and choose a wallpaper from our download folder. So now, as you can see, I've chose a wallpaper from my download folder, I'll tap on next. And now, as you can see, I feel that my wallpaper looks really bland and simple. So I can go ahead and tap on suggest here at the bottom left to let Samsung AI suggest me a few designs. So as you can see, it's already suggested me a few. So this is one design. This is second design. I, if I don't like what I'm seeing, I can go ahead and tap on suggest again, and this will give me new designs again. Let's go ahead and try another wallpaper. I'll tap on suggest. And now this will suggest me the wallpapers. So there you go. So these are all the different wallpaper suggestions I can apply to my Samsung Galaxy device. So as you can see, I've set one of their suggestions on my home screen. So you always have a fresh and a personalized wallpaper that matches your style without needing to browse endlessly. So it keeps your phone feeling new every day. Feature number five is how you can add a photo to your lock screen. So you can personalize your lock screen by adding a photo or a memory you love. So it could be a family, pet, travel moment, or motivational quotes. So you can do this easily through your wallpaper settings or with a lock star. So here we'll go ahead and add a motivational quote to our lock screen. So I'll show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and install the following app. You need the Good Lock app. So this is available on the Galaxy Store. From the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and install the lock star module. So you need to make sure that is installed. So now once you've installed Lockstar module, you want to go ahead and open up Google. I want to go ahead and add some motivational quotes. So I'll go ahead and take this. Your positive action combined with positive thinking results in success. So I'll go ahead and use AI select and we'll go ahead and copy this. So let's go ahead and crop this. And then tap on download. So this is now saved into my gallery. Now next I'll go ahead and edit my lock screen. So tap on wallpaper and style, tap on my lock screen. Now I'll go ahead and tap on lock star, and now I'll tap on app widgets. Now here I need to go ahead and find the gallery app widget. So this is it, tap on this, tap on image and stories, and we'll go ahead and add it. Now we'll tap on add, tap on settings, and we'll go ahead and add the image, select image, We'll go ahead and add that. Tap on done. Now we'll tap on save. So now as you can see, it's been added. So now I can go ahead and add this anywhere I like. And then I can go and tap on done. And now I can go ahead and look at my lock screen. So as you can see, this is the code which I've added to my lock screen. So it's an image. So it gives your phone a personal and an emotional touch. Every time you pick it up, you're greeted by something that makes you smile. So you can go ahead and add multiple images. So this image is basically changes. Feature number six is where you can pin screenshots to home screen. So with this feature, you can pin a screenshot right to your home screen. So this is perfect for checklist, QR code, tickets, or reminders. So no more digging through gallery every time. You can go ahead and screenshot it and you can go ahead and stick it. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up Google. And here we've got some motivational quotes. So let's just say I want to go ahead and pin this. Stay positive, work hard, make it happen. So I'll go ahead and bring out the edge panel, tap on AI select. I'll go ahead and select this. Now I'll go ahead and tap on pin. And now this is pinned to my 
screen. So now whatever app I open, this is always stay on. So anything I'm doing is basically reminding me to stay positive, work hard and make it happen. Now you can go ahead and pin multiple items as well. So if I go ahead and pin another one, let's just say, for example, this one here, success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. So we'll go ahead and pin this as well. Now we'll go ahead and tap on pin. And now that is pinned as well. So now I've got two screenshots which are pinned and I can go ahead and just leave it on my home screen. This will stay on my home screen no matter what I do. I can go ahead and lock my screen and then come back to it. It'll still stay pinned to my home screen. So it's a lifesaver for quick references and daily tasks. It keeps your input and info one tap away. And lastly, feature number seven is your flash notifications for messages or any emails that appear on your phone. So this feature has been around for a while, but still one of the most underrated feature. When enabled, your camera flash or your screen will blink whenever you receive a message, call or a notification. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here you wanna go ahead and open up settings. Next, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find accessibility. Now here, tap on advanced settings. And here you need to find flash notification. Tap on this. And now you can go ahead and turn on flash notification or screen flash notification. So we'll go ahead and turn on flash notification, tap on this. And here you can go ahead and choose the apps you require flash notification for. I want all the notifications, so I'll go ahead and turn that feature on. And now we'll go ahead and press home. So now we'll go ahead and turn this phone around. And let's go ahead and make a call to this phone. So as you can see, the phone's ringing and you've got a flash notification. I'll go ahead and send some messages as well. So you'll see some flash going off. So this is the flash notification preview you'll get when you receive a message. Okay, now for those of you who don't like camera flash notification, you can even turn on the screen flash notification. So with this, you basically get a bright solid color appear on your screen when something comes up like a notification or a call. So here an example. You can go ahead and change the color, whatever you like and you can go ahead and look at the preview. So you've got flash notification in the back and you've got some screen notification in the front. So it's perfect for noisy environments or when your phone's on silent, you'll never miss an alert again. Plus it adds a nice visual cue to your notifications. And that's it, seven awesome Samsung Galaxy features you can try right now. Some are brand new, some are older, but all of them make your Samsung Galaxy phone more powerful, personal, and fun to use. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to tell me which feature you love the most. Let's hit our goal of 300 likes. I know we can do it together. Thanks again for watching. Your support means the world to me since I run this channel all by myself. So this is The Simple Dad signing off and I'll see you in the next one.